the last decade, over exploitation of wild animals and plant species has diversified considerably, threatening the stability of new species such as pangolins from Asia and Africa. Pangolin is widely hunted for the marketing of its meat and scales. According to a study between 1972 and 2014, demand from Asian countries in pangolin scales has increased sharply and the price of the species in Central African market has also increased. Given that the supply of Asian pangolins can no longer meet the demand of Asian countries, they have turned to Africa to complete the gap. Today, 41,000 to 2,700,000 pangolins are slaughtered each year in Central Africa. African pangolins are classified as fully protected by Convention on International Trade in Wild Fauna and Flora CITES. Two years after the CITES decision to fully protect the pangolin, Action for Environmental Governance in a study published in July 2018 associates the respect of the CITES Pangolin Integral Protection Decision in Central Africa through the Cameroon case study. The impact of the CITES decision on pangolins in Cameroon was associated along four lines. Legal and regulatory impact, media, judicial and commercial impact. From the evaluation, it came out that the Ministry of Forestry and Wildlife, MINFOF, incorporate the CITES decision into internal norms for the protection of wildlife to circular letter of January 11, 2017 on the export of gray-tailed parrot and pangolin. The media relays the comprehensive pangolin protection measure in Cameroon under the leadership of the Ministry of Forest and Wildlife and technical and financial partners. Indeed, many media production, press articles, reports, radio and television broadcasts show the awareness raising efforts of public authorities, particularly MINFOF and NGOs on the issue of total protection of pangolin. Cameroonian traders do not respect the integral protection measure of the pangolin. In the market, pangolin is sold alive in the form of whole carcasses, piece of meat prepared and offered to customers, and its scales in the form of trophies. The average price of pangolin is a function of the taste. A live pangolin costs 13,500 francs CFA, while a kill one is sold at 7,000 francs CFA. A piece of kill pangolin is sold at 1,500 francs CFA and it scales in trophy at 3,000 francs CFA. Article 158 of the law of 28 January 1994 punished with a fine of 3 million to 10 million francs CFA and imprisonment of one year to three years or only one such punishment anyone in possession of an entirely protected animal or part of it, dead or alive. Since the signing of circular letter, Minfof agents have recorded 12 offenses involved pangolin. All of the seizure made concern the trade in pangolin scales in quantities of between 6 kg and 5,000 kg and a total of 5,489,000 kg. The 12 cases were the subject of judicial investigation before the compens call. However, only 8 cases have already resulted in a court decision and four cases are still pending before the court. 
Some hypotheses may explain this non-application of the new law on protection of pangolins in Cameroon by traders on the one hand and by the judicial actor, OPG and magistrates on the other hand. 1. The sensitization was very little focus on the deterrent and non-appropriation of the stakes of the evolution of the regulation of the pangolin by the magistrates. 2. The confrontation between the requirement of the pangolin comprehensive protection measure and certain habits and practice. 3. Insufficient means to apply the pangolin protection measure. 4. The existence of governance issues impacting the application of the pangolin protection measure. As action tries to improve the situation, it is necessary to note 1. The establishment by the Ministry of Forestry and Wildlife of a better organization of the control exercise on the market and the reinforcement of the internal control of the corruption. 2. The establishment of a unit or at least a design focal point which receives and relays the evolution of the international legal instrument to which Cameroon is party in the field of wildlife cities in this case by the judicial actors. 3. CSOS need to technically and financially support the authority. 4. Organize traders against illegality by creating a framework of exchange with the Ministry of Forest, whose main objective would be to denounce cases of illegal trade in endangered species, including pangolin. And finally, financial technical partners should financially support. CSOS and NGOS that invest in supporting the Ministry of Forest and the Ministry of Justice in the implementation of the recommendation. This partner will also play a role of relay and advocacy but internally presidency of republic and internationally to address the difficulties faced by ministry of forestry and wildlife and other actors involved in the implementation of the integral protection measure of pangolin